So you can see that behind us there's a little photo shoot going on. There's a few of the stewards from today's match being photographed with an award that Fulham has just won for the warmest welcome. Ivan and I are here with the absolute legend that is Turnstile Tom. It is an absolute pleasure to meet you. Absolutely. And me too. <laughs> so tell us about what you've been doing for the club for how long is it? 50 seasons? This is my fifth this year. Yeah. Wow. I started when I was 50 and I'm 65 this year. Uh, basically I've been doing the turnstiles over the years. Started off being a turnstile operator when it was all cash turnstiles and we took cash on every everyone. In those days we didn't get very big crowds and uh, um, probably 20, uh, 15 to 20,000. Um, but now it's all automated, it's seen a lot of changes over the years. Yeah, Hell of a lot of changes, it. yep. yep. Now, what's been your favourite part over the, the, the 50 years here? Like, fav like your favourite era? Well, I, I, think it, I think it's, oh, well, uh, it's all been good. It's, it's interacting with the public, I think it's much as anything else. It's, it's a lot different to my normal job, full-time work. Uh, I like uh, meeting people, I like dealing with people, I like helping people. Yeah. And that's the main thing. That's, that's, that's what I get out of it. And it beats going shopping on a Saturday afternoon. <laughs> Agreed. I, I, I He's agree. He's going to agree with, with that. that. I yeah. absolutely agree with that. <laughs> so I have Jacqueline with me. Jacqueline, how are you doing? I'm um, great, thank you. Even better now I've heard that we've won this award. So you've only just found out I that have. we've won this yes, award. Yes. How do you feel? Funny. Now you're holding it. That's amazing. Absolutely. Well, listen, we couldn't have done it without uh, you, apparently. We've been, told, <laughs> we've been told we had to chat to you because oh. you're such a big part of Fulham Football oh, well, Club. Oh, I love it here. Team. So, yeah? Yep. How long have you been here for? Um, seven years, but only two and a half in for full time. Oh, okay. Yeah. And tell us what you've been doing over the seven and a half years. Uh, working in the in the in the shop. And tell us why you think Fulham have have won the warmest welcome, officially number one in the Premier League. Well, I think we're a, an amazing club. We've got uh, big family values, and we love having the children here. We just love greeting people and seeing them and making them happy, really. So I'm joined by Claudio. And what's your job here at Fulham Football Club? Uh, I'm a corporate steward. Basically what we do here is make sure that everyone is happy, mm. firstly in the clients, and um, address all the people in the right direction, uh, and also make sure their safety yeah. is on the top of the list for us. Why do you think we have one warmest welcome? Because I think we work all together, mm. and not just us as a corporate, but also the other uh, stewards, we will call together as a team, mm. making sure that all the people leave the stadium, no matter what the result is of the match, leave the stadium really full satisfied. Yeah. That's what, and I think is really, really well deserved. Yeah. Apart from everything, you know, uh, we really make the customers on the top of our list first. Uh, Steve, tell us what you do here at uh, Craven Cottage. Yeah, I am the safety officer here at Craven Cottage, so I run the match day safety operation in its entirety. Fantastic. And uh, as you see here, we've won uh, the award for warmest welcome in the Premier League. Uh, does that surprise you, firstly? Not in the slightest. It's something we've been aiming for. It's something we aspire to. The safety operation is all about the right people being in the right place, doing the right thing. And that's about the welcome. That's about how they treat people. That's about respect. It's about courtesy. So, you know, this is, for me, um, acknowledgement of, of what we've tried to do and, and what we're striving to do and, and where we're trying to take the safety operation to. And do you think that's what sets us apart from the other clubs then in, in the Premier League? Uh, yes, I think it is. It, it's part of it. It's part of our values. It's part of how we, say, try and improve things week by week. So I'm here with Nico. Nico, what, what do you do here at Fulham? Yeah, so I'm a corporate host here. I'm, I'm welcoming the guests and yeah, we won the award for the warmest welcome here. So we're making yeah, the customers feel really welcome here. So why do you think that this club has won the warmest welcome? I think we're quite unique. We're like a big family here and I think we're doing a good job here. I'm here with Ashley. He's holding the plaque for the warmest welcome in the Premier League. Why do you think that Fulham has won this particular award? It's just a family club and everyone just likes to stick together and that's the main thing really and if you, if you can do that then you won't fail. Fulham's always been known as a friendly club. There's absolutely no doubt about that, and that comes through every everybody that works here. In, in fact, the, the, you know the, the the management that's here now have made great efforts to emphasise how important it is uh, customer service, and I think that really comes through, and that, that's what I get out of it. It's it's a very good you know good club to work for. Excellent. So you're not surprised then at winning this award here, that the, the, the award for the warmest welcome. Oh, I'm oh, I'm very proud that we did so. In fact, uh, surprised. Maybe, but uh, I think it's well deserved. From what I see in the, what goes on at this club at the moment, I think it's well deserved, yes. And what do you think it is about Fulham that is so welcoming? 
I think it's friendly. I think I think we're customer aware. I think we want to make sure that people have a good experience when they come here, right from the very beginning, from the point that they go into the ground until the point they end. And I think that's that's the way we look at it.